about page border, let me create a random text. 5 and 10. All right. Let's justify it and maybe a bit larger. Okay. You could click on the borders and go to borders and shadings, or you could search on Microsoft Search, or go to Design tab in the Page Background section, Page Border. I click on that. Make sure you're on the middle tab. Again, it is similar to borders. I could apply, change the color, or I could make custom. Note that you don't have to select custom then work. You could disable one of those and then start make your own version. Let's say red color and okay. Oops, I forgot to add the right side, sorry. Again, red color. I forgot to click here or you could click there, doesn't matter. And okay. If you make any extra pages, you will see with exact same one. Let me add more pages. There it is. And for adding art, click on the page borders again. And we have art. It is very old as I remember from Microsoft Office 97. It still didn't update. But I could select any type. And note that you could customize with or without any site. But you cannot combine with this line styles. If I click on that, the art will remove. If I select here, they will remove. So you cannot combine them together. We have only with and apply to and OK. Note that imagine I don't want to have page border after this. If I click here or here, doesn't matter, and go to page borders and for instance, let's say none, apply to this section doesn't matter if i select anything and press ok all of them will get the same result so i undo that if you want to don't have page border or different page borders on different pages you have to define sections in the beginner course i talked about sections briefly but just mentioned here go to layout and break we have several types of break. I want to say, for instance, here, continuous. Now, if I go back to home tab and show the hidden marks, look at here. Until there, it is one section and it's written section break continuous and it is breaking from this page. Now, if I select this page or be in this page, doesn't matter, go to border borders and shading, page border, and choose something different, maybe this one, and I don't want to have left side, for example, and the apply to, and say this section, okay, only this section apply. So again, to have different page borders, you have to define sections. Let me create a few other pages and I want to define a new break here. Layouts, breaks and continues from here. Now let's go back design, page borders and define something completely different. Okay, apply to, this time I could say all except first page of this section note that okay this is the first page of this section and do not confuse from here broken so until there it is previous section it's broken this is my new section and if i start creating multiple pages there now it is continuously working in the next video i will talk more deeply about some parameters for page border.